Yeah, Mike Mike's Daily Podcast. And that was Monday. My name is Mike Matthews. This show being recorded at the end of a Monday. Hey, but the sun is still up. Mike's Daily Podcast. That's a nice arrangement if you can get it. The sun staying up really late, like till 7 or 8. That's awesome. I like that. That's great. That's great. It's great. And I do this podcast and I try and do it to you so you can hear it and be informed and then go, ooh, I know something new today. Today we might talk about Mike's Daily Podcast. Something that's got my name in it. Microbiome. I always thought it was microbiome. Mike's. But that shows you Daily how fallible I am podcast. as an individual. Yeah! So it's called Mycobiome, apparently. We might talk about that. We might also talk about the podcast picture, which I'm still trying to find. Oh, no, I, I know what it is. I want to tell you right now where it was taken because you can see it at mikesdailypodcast.com and go, oh, that's what Mike looks like, and that's what his lovely lady friend looks like. And it was over near Dillon Beach, off of, what do they call this road? Valley Ford Franklin School, no, Dillon Beach Road. When you're almost at Dillon Beach, this is north of San Francisco, north of uh, Muir Woods, so we're kind of close to the ocean at this point, thus the name Beach. And it's almost to Bodega Bay, but it's this beautiful spot, and they've got this, I think they call it Elephant Rock, this beautiful chunks of rock all over the place, and what a great view. And this picture, taken a few months ago, during my lovely lady friend's birthday, and so you can see it at mikesdailypodcast.com. I wanted to also tell you that there's this, just so much to get to. Mondays always leave me a little bit perplexed, a little bit confused, and today was a very busy Monday because... And here's today's podcast picture. I made an appointment for my shot. The jab. The thing. I'm going to get Moderna tomorrow. I was very impressed. This is how you do it, everybody. For those of you who are getting completely frustrated with all of this and trying to go to the CVS website, somebody told me, just go to the CVS website. I talked to my mom today. She said somebody told her, just go to the Publix website, P-U-B-L-I-X. That's a supermarket chain out in the East Coast area. Um, oh, yeah, the podcast picture I just mentioned. Oh, and you also see, oh, Basil the Boxer would have loved this area. Big green area. You feel like you're, like, in England or something. Oh. The, and I saw a couple cats today. Basil, you would have loved these cats. Yes. A plethora of cats. You know when you see a cat hanging out on someone's driveway, if you're on a little walk and you don't have a dog, because the dog, introducing the dog into the situation causes all kinds of craziness. But if you are walking along and you see a cat sitting there, you know as soon as you take a step forward and the cat runs away, so much for that. But if you take a step forward and you go, hey, kitty, kitty, and say something nice along that kind of line. Kitty kitty. Or make a meow noise. Something like that. And the cat starts to approach you. Oh, you've met a friendly cat. And how nice is that? Just be careful. Use the hand that you're not going to use as often. Because that cat might turn around and claw you. And gouge you. And that happened to me. Uh, there was a neighborhood cat named Gato. <clears throat> Excuse me. Gato. And Gato disappeared. I did not make Gato disappear. It's sad that Gato disappeared. We live in the Bay Area where there are a plethora of coyotes. And possibly that happened or a car hit Gato. Gato disappeared. And But what I learned from petting Gato was you never know when those cats are just going to turn on you and claw you. Ah, the fun of cats. But this cat that I met today was very friendly. I have no idea what his name was, but I think he belonged to this one little house in Podcastro Valley. Back to Michael Biomes. Oh, so I'm going to get my shot tomorrow. Yes, in one of those drive-through shot things. 
that Arnold Schwarzenegger, he did that thing where he said, Come with me if you want to live. And he videoed it. So I'm going to do something like that tomorrow because I'm not very original. And we'll get that done somewhere in Pleasanton. And at the fairgrounds, Alameda County Fairgrounds. So oh, what I was going to say is, what's here's a great tip. If you haven't gotten the shot yet and you're like, I ah, tried and all these websites say they're booked, all appointments full. Because everybody was telling me, Take, go to CVS, go to Rite Aid, go to Walgreens. No, don't do that. Go through your insurance or your, your uh, regular medical provider. Let's say it be Kaiser or somebody like that. Go through your doctor, basically, and they can direct you. It's the best way I found. Because I was getting nowhere. And then today I just looked and it said, oh, we got something tomorrow. I'm like, perfect. Let's do this. So I will have my first shot. What's funny is I know all these young people who have already gotten both shots. They work the system and they're done already. My mom got her second shot, although it was tougher for her. She had to do a lot of this research. She told me about the whole don't go to the public's website or any of that. That's just bunk. So, yes. That's all set. Uh, young, oh, and, and this is the various ways I heard these young people getting their shots. One of them said, oh, yeah, I had a, a friend of my mom's who said that, hey, I can make it look like you work here at the dentist office with me. Something like that, which I don't exactly agree with, but I think the majority of you would say, yeah, you got to work the system however way you can. That's what it's like being an American. It's important to consider both the bacteria and fungi in your microbiome. What? I thought it was microbiome, but no, this is microbiome. Okay. If you take a broad-spectrum antibiotic for an infection, as we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing you Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcastro Valley, it can kill the bacteria in your gut. Without good bacteria to keep uh, Candida albicans yeast in check, and it can become invasive and cause Oral and all kinds of other infections in you. So, there's this guy named Mahmoud Ganun. Ganum, actually, PhD. He wrote a book about the whole gut thing. I hate saying gut. It's in your stomach, but they say gut. And then when I when you say gut, I think, oh, I gotta lose some weight because I have a gut. But he said uh, what he did. He did the study of the fungi. Inside it, us in its early days, and he coined the term mycobiome. There we go, just a decade ago. Studies have found significant differences in the mycobiome of people, healthy people, compared to people with various medical conditions. These include obese, uh, the people with allergies, digestive disorders, autism, among others. Sometimes it's uncertain whether a fungal imbalance is contributing to the medical condition or it is a result of the condition. In Crohn's disease, a type of inflammatory bowel disease, fungal imbalance seems to contribute to the condition. This uh, Mahmoud Ganon Ganum, I'll say his name right, probably there. I probably said it right just there. And his colleagues found that people with Crohn's have a higher amount of Candida tropicalis in their gut. Oh, how pleasant is that? This yeast teams up with the bad gut bacteria and then forms this thing called biofilm or digestive plaque to hide from your immune system and antimicrobial Uh, Drugs. The biofilm can damage and inflame your gut lining. Isn't that interesting? Candida, by the way, is also commonly the culprit in small intestinal fungal overgrowth, or SIFO. This can cause chronic... Something that should have been in a B-52 song. And you could have heard the guy say, SIFO! This can cause 
That would be Fred Snyder, by the way. This can cause chronic bloating, indigestion, belching, nausea, diarrhea, and gas. Ah! Stuff you maybe didn't know about, yet it affects you and me. And that's some of the studying that's going on in that world. I pulled that from Taste for Life. (laughs) Yes, Taste for Life magazine. It's free. Is it completely 100% reliable? I don't know. But it gives you food for thought in your gut. Hey, look who's here. Hello, Mike Matthews. I'm Kelly Stewart, your chef supervisor. So, like, it's like springtime and things are growing all over the place, Mike Matthews. There, that's true. And there's somebody here to see us outside a cafe anyway. Say hi to everybody. Lovely lady friend. Hi, everybody. Hello, lovely lady friend. How are you today? It's me, Shelly Stewart. Shelly, you're looking very spring-like. That's right, because I have flowers in my hair. Oh, that's Because I live so close to San Francisco. That's lovely. Do you sell those at the gift shop? Yeah. Oh, that's great. I make them, too. You made them. Oh, my goodness. That's even more special. Right now, you can get a deal if you join a subscription service. Oh, Oh, yikes. Subscription service. I was just talking to Mike about that. I make a new one every day. And then you get, if you subscribe, you get a new one every day. And it costs less than if you bought one. Mm, Tempting. Let let me think about it, Shelly. We were just talking about this. (laughs) Because, like, we were thinking, we we love Pete's Coffee. One of the many coffee companies. <laughs> it's yes, it's a it's a very healthy addiction. It's not that healthy. <laughs> not healthy at all. Speak for yourself, Mike. <laughs> Shut up, Mike. <laughs> I've had a lot of caffeine today, Mike. <laughs> um, but yes, what uh, we have found is like Pete's will give you a discount, but you got to subscribe to their thing. That means you're paying a certain amount every month. I don't know. Maybe it works out. Maybe it doesn't. I don't like it. Don't like subscription models services. Yeah, neither do I. Especially ones that when you try to cancel, it's like you're in Dante's seventh layer of hell. Like, yeah, you, they make it impossible to cancel. Oh, that is a story I've told many times on the podcast about in Alabama. The ex-wife was part of a uh, one of these uh, women's gyms and couldn't get out of it. Yikes. Until we moved. You just handed me some... What is this? <laughs> Mike Matthews, she got a package of all kinds of things from Lila. <laughs> Lila. <laughs> Ilya. Oh, I've never tried Ilya. So. I've tried Lila. Oh, Shelly. It's well, really neat. Lovely lady friend. I'll tell you all about it. I haven't tried it yet. It's my first time. Is that like lipstick? It is, Shelly. That sounds fantastic. But you already have a beautiful shade on you. I don't think you need anything else. Thank you, lovely lady friend. I gotta go. Bye. Bye. Look who else is here. Hello, Mike. This is Floyd the Floorman. And this is John Deere, the engineer. Hello, lovely lady friend. Do you get a lot of things delivered to your house? Uh, mm, 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 mm. Um, Maybe. <laughs> I think she's gets some every single day. <laughs> every single day there's something that comes to the house. That Not she, every single day. She is quite the uh, surfer of the internet for products. She is a consumer. And you don't wear a lot of makeup, so that's odd that you bought makeup. Yes, well, I'm doing a lot of Zoom calls. Oh, there you go. And... Oftentimes, I'm looking at my. I find myself looking at the. You know, I know you're not supposed to look at your own. Box, yes, that's terrible. But I can't help it, and I look so pale. I look no. so, I I look so pale, and you know, last week I was having so much trouble falling asleep. So I was pretty much sleep deprived all week last week. Right. I had these terrible dark circles under my eyes. Yeah. So. I mean, I didn't see. Yeah. <laughs> Love, I don't, I don't, you can agree, it's true, I, it, it's a fact. So, enter concealer. <laughs> you sounded so Carl Sagan just then. It's a fact. fact. If yes, we look, Michael. If we look at 
the dark rings <laughs> beneath our eyes, we see the cosmos and the distant shore that we are trying to achieve something like that. Yes, the webs of capillaries <laughs> mirror the interconnections <laughs> of the billions and billions of galaxies in our universe. That was so Ruth Buzzy to me. You don't know. Like, d- oh, she was what's Ruth Buzzy. She was on Laughing in the 60s. I don't know. Like, you, she's all over YouTube. Oh. Uh-huh. She was quite famous in her day. I think she was on the love boat a couple of times. The love boat. But you did. That was very good. Your impression of him. By the way, you're thank in the you podcast love. picture today. Just oh. So you know. Oh. Why? Thank you. MikeStaleyPodcast.com. I would like to tell everyone if you'd like to call in and let us know what you think about anything. You can call me at three three six MM Daily. Three plus three equals six MM. Is in Mike Matthews Daily. Is and what this podcast says it is, but it is not. I just have not been doing this daily lately. That's okay, love. You've been busy. I need to live up to the title of the show. What is that you just purchased? This is an illuminator. (laughs) What does that do? It gives you a little shine. (laughs) Should I put it on my forehead? (laughs) On my on my bald head? Yeah, we'll put some on your nose, put some on your cheeks. Oh, that'd be cool. On your forehead, you could be shining like a disco ball. I found out with my work that I'm going to be dealing with a celebrity. What? Coming to my job. Um, so Is maybe that a I good should or a bad thing. Maybe I should dress as a s- <laughs> disco ball. <laughs> So that I'll be, you know, kind of with the whole, I mean, it's going to be a party with the celebrities showing up and There's everything. There's a party up in Fax. <laughs> <laughs> oh, faxology. <laughs> What's faxology? I don't know. <laughs> okay. You can edit this out. <laughs> no, no, no. I just, uh, for those of you who don't know, there is a radio station whose call letters are KFAX. And what's interesting, and this station's been around for, I mean, ha- over half a, dec- uh, a millennium. No, millennium. A millennium. <laughs> half a century. <laughs> I can't remember how long things are anymore. Time. Time, time, time. What's become of me? KFAX stands for, it was originally the first news station on the West Coast, news radio station. And it stands for F-A-X, and this is before the fax machine existed, stood for fast, was the F, A was for accurate, and X was exclusive. (laughs) There you go. X is exclusive. K Fax, really? There you go. Wow, love. That's the history, radio history of things. And you can call me if you'd like any other interesting radio history I can tell you at 336MM Daily. That's 3 plus 3 equals 6. MM is a Mike Matthews Daily, isn't what this podcast is. No, but seriously, if you look in the history books, it is one of the first radio stations that ever existed on the West Coast. Wow. Yes, and the first news station. On the West Coast. So, with that being, as I am wrapping it up with this sentence, thank you so much, lovely lady friend, for stopping by the show as we tie this all up in a bow. And any thoughts for you to end the conclusion show with finale time ending? Smoothies. Oh, that sounds good. Strawberry banana smoothies. Always delicious and yes. healthy. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now. 
at Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye. And that was FF episode 2233, 2233. Hear all the past shows at Mike's Daily Podcast.com.